am Dominio, successor of Nixseed. Aren't you curious how strong I am? Hello, my beautiful little mugglets. Today we are showcasing our challenger, Dominio. She has been geared, she has been raised, she has been awakened, she has been Mola Gorod. Let's take a look at her stats first of all. Here she is, fully awakened. Uh, she has this for now. I did hear from Az that she should rather have Ancient Sheath, which does make sense. Since all of her damage comes from her basic, uh, that would be better, but alas, I don't have stuff to raise it. That'll be what she has eventually. Nearly 4k attack, I actually want to get that above 4k, because she also has 70 crit chance, which is way more than she needs. Here are her Molagoras. Totally maxed out S1, which is cool. Only plus three for electric charge right now. I, as and I were discussing her a bit, he said this actually doesn't do as much as a lot of people think. Once it's maxed, it does do like 7% more damage per critical, which sounds like a lot, but he said that just scales off of her base attack. So not like everything. And then for supercharge, we basically just got the one turn cooldown. I'm not really planning on using her for a combat readiness pusher, although at max it does give 20%, which is actually not bad. But we're going to see what we can do with her gear real quick. This is what I initially had her in, but she ended up having too much crit rate. So we're probably going to give her a broken set instead of the crit set, since she really doesn't need more than 50%. This would get her above 4k attack, but drops her down to 304 crit damage, so it's a bit of a trade-off. I might actually just give her this really horrible crit damage necklace we got out of uh, gear conversion, because the other one just has 10% attack and uh, considering this is a crit damage set we can switch out one of these other pieces up here for something else we have 165% ring which is definitely not bad 321 crit damage I actually think that's fine we didn't break 4k attack but <laughs> over 320% crit damage is pretty nice we're gonna be doing some labyrinth first to try and take advantage of her electric charge uh, however it's pretty hard unless you have some really heavy hitting aoe's so that it actually doesn't become her turn until you actually want it to, like on a boss or at least in an elite monster. She's also double S imprint, which means everyone will get 10% crit chance. We are going to try some arena as well, but we don't have Celeste, which is a very, very common partner for uh, for Challenger Dominial. We're probably going to be trying something a little different, but I want an attack up and a defense break. Yeah, we can try it like this. We don't have any tanks or any healers, but <laughs> it's just a normal labyrinth, so maybe we can get away with it. I think we're going to go down to Vera. You see how much she jumps up from one AoE. That's pretty crazy. So unfortunately, it's her turn. So we're going to attack with her. But do keep in mind, the real damage comes from soul burning. So we're not going to do that till till the boss. We are going to hit that guy, though, for 18k. Definitely not bad. Ah, damn. I just realized Secretary Vera is grass and our defense breaker is water. It's going to require some luck to get that defense break off. Now she has an attack buff, but not her crit buff anymore. So we just have to hope she crits. 24k, nice. I wonder if dual attacks also drain her stacks. That would require a bit of testing. I can imagine they do. Huh. Damn, that bee is uh, that bee is wrecking us. Probably should have considered giving Bologna the life steal artifact thing so she can heal a little bit. All right, I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet, but <laughs> let's go and give it a try. Oh snap, that's right, there are five things there. I think I'm going to just start with the attack boost though, and unfortunately I think an AoE will boost Challenger Dominial over, but I mean we can try and get the defense break, it's just still not going to be that good, it's only five crits. Yeah, boosted her way above. Shame. Oh, but Vera did get defense broken. Burn it! Let's see what happens. I don't expect a one shot, but that would be pretty cool. Come on. Boom. Oh, man. I mean, that was pretty dope, though. 47k and also, like, one shot to transform, at least. Also, defense broken again. We're going to soul burn her basic again and see what happens. Burn. Boom. Get out of here. Pop. What? That was 137k, dude. Holy hell. All right. I have no idea why it was so much more that time. Unfortunately missed. No no defense break anymore. Oh, he pushed her back all the way. Thank you very much. Come on, defense break, please. Yes. Ah, no attack buff anymore. An attack down, as a matter of fact. That's some baloney. I don't need to burn it anymore. Boom. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty good, I should say. Also, our setup is very just thrown together. Not much planning went into it, I guess. Just tried to get a, an attack buff and a defense down in there. We actually have two defense downs. I completely ignored Bel <laughs> Bellona's ability and was just kind of relying on 
Lulika, but Bologna's the one who actually got the defense breaks off. This one might be good because Lulika has just finished those four off with her AoE. So we got some crit saved up now. Unfortunately, this guy is fire and Bologna, which is, yeah, our defense breaker. Please don't miss, please don't miss, because he also get counterattacked. Oh no, how, how sad. Oh. Lulika, please, I know the odds aren't in my favor, but please. Yes. Oh wait, gotta get this first. That was close. Here we go. Burn. Cup. Oh, oh! <laughs> yes, that was awesome. I really try my best not to scream into the microphone, but that was incredible. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice, nice. Damn, son. I mean, I knew that was gonna be a good one. I didn't know about a one shot, but that was freaking amazing. Ah, oh, damn. Whew, all right. Just spend the rest of our morale real quick, which is like one battle. They're almost, <laughs> they're all almost dead anyway. Should have been using Lulika's barrier more often as well. I always forget she has that. Oh, we're dead. Boom. What? Why are, why are their shields so massive? Ah, interesting. Haha. <laughs> it's because they have so tiny health now because we're at negative 31, but the barrier, the barrier self didn't change. It's funny. So that was awesome. As for Arena, I have like no idea to be honest. Again, I see her a lot with Celeste. Someone already tried my defense team? Get out of here. Honestly, I'm just gonna throw her in there. And if there's anyone left, which in this case there probably won't be, then she can clean them up. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Again, I see her paired a lot with Celeste, but I don't have Celeste, don't have her raised or anything. So I don't know how, how this is gonna go really. Hopefully we're faster at least. But let's see how much she jumps just from these four crits. See, unfortunately we can't actually use her because Judge Kisa is too overpowered. Yeah, let's go for a more tanky team. This is definitely a, a, a much more tanky team. Uh, that might be a bad thing, honestly, but let's try it. Oh crap, I forgot we can't burn her S1 without another book. Probably should have thought about that. Yeah, she's gonna heal. Damn. Ugh. Huh, I don't know to be honest. If Rel doesn't jump from something, then we might be able to kill her with Moonlight Shuri. Go! Nice. And boom. No attack buff for her, so her single target damage here isn't going to be that impressive, but it was pretty good. We can try this one. It's uh, it's like half cleave because we got, you know, SS Bellona and Maid Chloe in there, but... Let's try it. Assuming everyone's just gonna die, honestly, but yeah. Tanky evading team. Ugh. Well, let's try it, I guess. Wondering if we should get those souls in there. We'd have to switch someone out of our team, though, which is annoying. But yeah, I mean, for this one, we can throw Vivian in there. I don't think any of these guys are gonna be built super fast. Literally, Vivian just in there because I know she has the soul, <laughs> the, <laughs> the other soul book equipped. Uh, boom. Uh, missed on that dude. Oh crap. I mean she must have a counter set on it's like 20% chance or something Please don't counter again. That would be really annoying She is going to dude, that's ridiculous 20% chance as if whatever And unfortunately Vivian couldn't go before Dominial so Dominial has no attack buff, but I'm gonna burn it please Yes! Whoa! 20k! Damn, nice. You know, I think she won this one for us, honestly. I don't, I don't think I would have been able to kill that. Well, maybe with... Maybe with Watcher Shuri. Watcher Shuri doesn't do that much, though. Which is weird, because he penetrates defense. I think he just has low multipliers. And of course, he's not built nearly as well as Challenger Dominial, so I can't... That's not fair. This one I'm a bit more iffy on. I think we need the speed, but also... Sid, I don't think I can outspeed him even with, you know, Shuri. And uh, I'd rather kind of keep Vivian in there for the extra souls so that so that even when Sid takes 20 away, we'll still have 20 and enough to burn. But then Bazaar is probably also quick assignment? and he can do some annoying things. Sid is definitely faster. Oh no. Oh God, that was close. 
Should have known he'd go for Judge Key's head, but thankfully they put all speed into him, so she didn't die. I can also think Draco played for that. Huh? I thought you were dead. But Lona only shares with the front line, right? So that wouldn't count if I hit her. Well, Bologna shouldn't jump. It should be Vivian's turn next. Hopefully. All right. But yeah, there's actually not too much else to say about her. I'm, I'm pretty sure she is the best single target damage dealer in the game, or at least the one with the highest potential in general due to the massive, massive soul burn on S1. If I remember right, it's 2.5 like Ravi's. But with CDOM, you don't really need speed because she's always getting boosted by her electric charge. You don't need more than 50 crit chance because she gets this. So you can pretty much pour everything into crit damage and attack, which as you can see, we have done pretty much. There's a little bit of other stats, but can't be perfect, I guess. Uh, again, this, she can be even more impressive, obviously, with uh, that basic attack artifact, Ancient Sheath. She is pretty versatile, though, because you can just use her as a support buffer with her crit chance and combat readiness boost. She unfortunately doesn't have very impressive base speed, especially for a combat readiness pusher, but... She could be like a secondary one. And yeah, of course, there's Celeste as well. I should actually have one. So Celeste has a speed imprint, which is obviously good for Arena. Once it's awakened, she'll give herself an extra turn and an attack buff, which she can then lead into volley. You can potentially decrease her combat readiness. And of course, that is AoE. You're going to want to build her with crit damage. So, you know, it'll boost Celestial Dominial up. And she has incredibly good base speed at 116. So she's a good partner. Um, but yeah, I haven't raised her yet. Regardless, make sure you tell me what you think about Challenger Dominial. I know we only did Labyrinth and Arena, but I think that's enough of a showcase. You know, she's going to do really good single target damage pretty much everywhere since she is dark. But yeah, any thoughts, drop them in the comments below. Leaving a like if you have to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Subscribing to the channel is very much appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.